Okay, hi. So it's good Thursday afternoon to you all. I put this camera in a new setting, well positioned. So I hope it comes out good. All right, hope everyone is doing well. And I'm doing this because based on request again that I should do this. All right, because people from outside Italia or Italy, they want to know many things about Italy. So since I've lived here for decades, why not sharing? So I'm very, very pleased to share and uh, let's do it. I hope I have space still on my computer to do the editing again. So, all right. This time they asked for the, what the uh, meaning of all these Italian gesticulations. Okay, we leave out the bad ones. We just do the funny ones, all right? And the common ones, at least those that I got to know from my husband or from uh, the general public in Milan. I don't know if it's the same in Rome or in uh, Florence or in uh, Sicily. I have no idea. I only can talk about Milan because I've been living here for many, 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 many years. Okay, first one. Um, okay, you know, this is off my head, the top of my head, okay? I didn't write, I didn't prepare. So I'm just gonna do it all organically, naturally. First of all, when Italian do this, or Italians do this, that means it's delicious, it's very good. Italians, they don't use this sign, okay? Italians don't do this sign. When it's good, they go like this, but tasty, okay? Food, like that. When it's good, um, in general, they would say, um, uh, uh, Okay, they can go like that. I can all, only picture my husband, what he used to do. Or, uh, yeah, that's, that's, that's what I can come up with uh, off the top of my head. Okay, they, they, they do like this when it's really, really good. So they use the uh, thumb. Um, when it's, um, I don't know, when they want to say, I don't know, they would say, I don't know. Or another thing when they say, they want to say, um, uh, but what are you doing? Okay, this is how they do it. What are you doing? Okay. <laughs> so that's the fourth already, okay? Fourth gesticulation. Oh, I can see my jeans. And the fifth is what? The fifth is what? Of course, like this is, I think it's very, very universal when he, I can only picture my husband. He would do like this. That means, whew, that was tough, like that. That was tough, okay? The sixth gesticulation is what, is what, is what? Um, uh, they don't use the, the international ones, you know, that, uh, people from outside Milan or Italy think that Italians would understand all those you learn from America actually it's, m it's more American Italians they're not Italians Italy all right so there's a, a fact a big difference between those two because sometimes then the American Italians don't do not understand the Italians Italy because I could see that from my uh, a late husband's cousin who would visit once in a while uh, from uh, Seattle. They, they, they just don't have a clue uh, how it is here in Italy. And yet they're Italians, but American Italians. So what else? What else I can think of? Um, what? Uh, uh, that's all I can think of. You know, they don't use all those uh, international uh, gesticulations. Okay, I'm going to stop and then if I come up with something else, I'm going to continue with this video. Okay. Okay, another one. When they really, really say, how do I know? How do I know? How do we do uh, internationally? 
how do we know? how do I know right but with them when they really really desperate to make you understand that how do they know they would go like this how do they know how do I know <laughs> how do I know <laughs> that's what they do how do I know <laughs> and then what else what else come on okay I have to stop again because I can't come up with something else Okay, I don't think I can come up with any more of these gesticulations, but I can uh, continue with a little bit of uh, surprising details. All right. Uh, one thing uh, between the Italians and the French, they have uh, quite a lot of differences, even though you expect for them to be similar. Yes, similar in many things, but also there are things that Italians would find the French a bit strange and that is uh, this I learned about the Italians they would complain about the French uh, do this what how how again how again <laughs> the, <laughs> Ooh, the Italians they don't like that when the French speak a uh, talk and then you like that right yeah something like that okay so that Italians do not like and Italians do not like actually when a woman takes over in their conversation. Okay, now I'm gonna for, I'm going further now into not merely gesticulations, but some more details that can be maybe not so comfortable for some people to hear. But I'm just telling what they are. I mean that's how it is. All right. And so that you understand, uh, uh, you know, more about the Italians. Uh, they don't like it, uh, uh, um, women who uh, takes over the men, especially when the men speak. They don't like to, to, to have an assertive woman. But I did my, my, my role anyway, as me. However, I always try to adapt and adjust according to the kind of people I'm surrounded with. If there were there was a, a, a moment when it was called for me to be a little bit demure, I would be demure. But when there was a moment for me to really, really, you know, uh, show them what I think, then I didn't care. I would just express myself and, you know, let uh, what the chips uh, fall wherever it may be. It may. Okay, that's me. Uh, because uh, actually, uh, actually, it was like this the, the, the first meet, first date with my late husband when he, uh, I was looking around. We were sitting in this beautiful five star hotel in Jakarta. And, uh, you know, there were, uh, uh, I think there was a fashion show from France at that time. And all these beautiful French girls, French models were passing by in the lobby. So I was all distracted and he was sitting next to me on the sofa. And I was all distracted and I was looking, looking, looking at all these models who happened to pass. And then he was trying to, to, to talk to me, to get my attention to him. And then suddenly out of the blue, he just said, Oof, I, I like difficult women. Out of the blue from that you know, that moment that I was just not paying attention to him, but giving more the, the priority to watching all these other models that pass, were passing by. And then he said, oh, no, 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 not like that. I did tell him, he said, you know, I like it very much. He said something like that. I forget exactly what he said. But anyway, yeah, to that, uh, in that context, and I think I, I answered to him by saying, oh, but I'm a difficult woman. I'm just a difficult woman. And then kept on you know watching these women and then he said i like difficult women yes that's how it went exactly i like difficult women so you know that's where the balance is you have to uh, play because they don't like assertive women but i don't know why he liked me for being difficult because he said to me there were women in his life that whenever he said something all they do all they did was to say yes yes and he couldn't stand a yes woman that's what he at least confided to me so for the time being i think that's all <laughs> i'm giving you the italian's uh, life 
all my life with an Italian husband, okay, and the Italian sister to Asian. I hope you enjoyed this little uh, video, and I hope it enriches you a little bit, okay, about the, uh, the, the, the funny Italian subtitles, but they are such wonderful, great people. At least I could speak of my husband. Okay, ciao, have a nice Thursday evening. Ciao, ciao, ciao.